hello everyone happy to get connected once again with a new video this is a class time and in this video we shall be dealing with english grammar of class 6 and the chapter that we are dealing is with chapter 4 articles okay now as as usual i will be giving you the answers of it but before knowing the answers of it let's try to understand what is an article in very few words okay now what is an article the word art the word that specifies a noun okay dear friends prior to this we had learned about adjective and the definition for adjective we had known that adjective is that which speaks more about noun or something about noun like suppose one one noun i give dog okay suppose i give a noun dog if i say black dog i am telling the color of the dog okay if i say big dog i am telling the size of the dog okay so that way when it is spoken about the noun then we can say it is uh, the, uh, about the quality of the noun we say that it is adjective okay now what happens suppose of the same dog i am talking okay i am taking the same word noun dog but i want to say that to the uh, to a particular dog so to specify that particular dog i'll have to use few words in front of it simply i say not say dog okay if i say the dog is coming that means i'm telling about a particular dog which is coming simply i say dog is coming there is no meaning which dog is coming okay i i i mean i i won't be able to say that okay um, what i had seen what we had been talking about that dog is coming okay the moment i say the dog is coming then i we can say okay maybe there was a dog which we had known it earlier and that particular dog is returning back to us okay so that way when something is to be specified very clearly then we can use the articles okay and uh, there are three articles a and the okay these three are there and all these three are used as articles and for the warm up part we have given uh, the answers i have given it here okay now a is for very general one okay uh, we all know that our alphabets are divided in two parts vowels and consonants a stands for the consonant part n stands for the vowel part not merely the vowel part the sound wherever there is vowel sound okay so vowel part and uh, the stands for a word very particular to uh, to give a very particular stress to the noun okay now for the second a part question a fill in the blank using the article of uh, okay articles now using the articles we need to fill and this is the filling done here you can follow copy it down coming down to the number b number b also is telling like fill in the blanks with whatever required okay if you okay and here see some places you can see x the cross line that means in those places the articles are not necessary okay number c it goes like fill in the blank with article okay and there is a story and that story has to be completed in this paragraph huh? story has to be completed filling in the blanks so you can all copy it down okay that's all in this video okay